Hello and welcome to PlayStation Access. I'm Ash, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use PlayStation Portal Remote Player. Once you've unboxed your shiny new hardware, you can charge it up by attaching the included USB Type-C cable to PlayStation Portal's underside and connecting it to a PS5 to charge. To turn on PlayStation Portal, you press the power button on the top left of the screen and begin the setup process. You'll need to select a language before setting up the internet connection. Make sure to pick the same Wi-Fi router that your PS5 is connected to, as this is how games stream from your PS5 through Remote Play. Next, you sign in to your PlayStation Network account. You can manually type in your details or use the PS app on a phone to scan the QR code. In the app, go to Settings, Console Management and select Scan QR Code. Once you're signed in, you select the PS5 you'll be using for Remote Play. You can pair with any console you've signed into recently. This screen tells you when you last signed in to help you identify the console you want to use. Before using PlayStation Portal, you need to prepare your PS5 for Remote Play. Turn on your console and head to Settings. Then select System, Remote Play and Enable Remote Play. You'll also need to change PS5's rest mode settings. In Settings, head to System, Power Saving and Features Available in Rest Mode. In here, turn on Stay Connected to the Internet and enable turning on PS5 from Network. This way, PlayStation Portal can communicate with PS5 in rest mode. You're now ready to connect. Press X to begin remote play and watch as the swirling portal magically opens a window to your PS5 home menu. From here, you can navigate to a game of your choice and begin playing it on that gorgeous 8-inch LCD screen. Let us know in the comments what game you'll be testing out first. When using PlayStation Portal, there are other useful features to watch out for too. You can bring up the quick menu by tapping this symbol in the top right of the screen or swiping from right to left. In the quick menu, you can select a PS5 for pairing, you can connect a PlayStation Link headset, adjust the screen brightness, activate airplane mode, or go to the wider option menu. The attached DualSense controllers behave much like the DualSense wireless controller. They have the same haptic feedback and adaptive triggers that let you feel the game under your fingers. One difference is the touchpad. PlayStation Portal uses a virtual touchpad that you activate by placing either thumb on the side of the touchscreen. Here in Astro's Playroom, you can see how the touchscreen maps to the traditional touchpad. You'll also find the PS button on the left side of the device and the mute microphone button on the right. Finally, you have PlayStation Portal's sound options. You can adjust the stereo speakers with volume buttons on the top of the screen or attach headphones via the 3.5mm audio jack on the base. PlayStation Portal also supports PlayStation Link functionality to connect to the Pulse Elite wireless headset or Pulse Explore wireless earbuds when those release in coming months. All that's left is for you to find a comfortable spot, connect to the PS5 and enjoy a game stream straight to your PlayStation Portal. Thanks for watching, do give the video a like if it helps you out and let us know if you have any PlayStation Portal questions in the comments. Oh, and of course, be sure to check out PlayStation Access for loads more PlayStation gameplay and info. Thanks for watching.